Hello friends, welcome to my channel and as you have already guessed from the title of this video, we are going to learn reverse glass painting today. Most of my subscribers have already seen me doing a couple of glass paintings in my previous videos but trust me, this process and this technique is completely different from the others. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video. So reverse glass painting is when you paint on a transparent surface Preferably glass, but use the opposite side of the glass. So in these types of artworks, the final result must be well thought out before starting the piece and must be taken into account with each layer applied. So you know, starting a painting on the back side of the glass can be a little complicated, which is why I had already made a rough sketch of my illustration on a paper, which I'll be using as a template for my glass painting. And mind you, we are going to use the reverse side of the glass or the transparent sheet for our painting. And yes, we are going to need absolutely opaque colours for this painting, so no glass colours allowed. Let me remind you again, we are doing reverse glass painting here and not just normal glass painting where we use transparent colours. So please, please, please don't use glass colours for this. That's why I am using acrylic colours here. The first step of reverse glass painting will be to trace from the reference image or from the paper template that you have placed beneath your glass or OHP sheet. One of the main challenges of creating a reverse glass painting is how the layers are applied when painting. Following an opposite succession of layers of paint, meaning applying the frontmost layer first and the background layer last. So basically, we are going to paint the details and shadows first while the backgrounds will be painted last. I think that is getting a little too complicated. So let's leave all these explanations aside and let's follow the process. So please be with me to see the entire process, see how I create depth in my painting and please be with me to see how the painting turns, turns out. out. I'm not sure whether you people have already guessed it by now that I am doing a cityscape today, which is definitely not the easiest thing to do, especially when you are doing a reverse glass painting. But you know what, I just wanted to challenge myself, which is why I opted for this comparatively difficult subject. But uh, if there is anyone out there who wants me to paint something easier, mainly for the beginners, then please let me know in the comment section below. And I promise to come up with an easier version of this very soon. Anyways, now let's get back to talking about today's painting again. So, so as you can see, I have already finished doing the shadows and the lights coming from the skyscrapers. And now I am getting back to painting the water body. And yes, yes, one very important thing that I should mention here is that uh, you should always wait for the first layer to dry up before you can apply the second layer. Otherwise, you will end up ruining your painting, guys. And yes guys, if you are liking this video, then please do give a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to stay notified about all the videos that I upload on my channel.
cityscape or let me say that this is an evening cityscape so the sky will be bluish and will be star studded uh, which is why I am using the spray method by using this toothbrush to make the stars dab some white acrylic color on your toothbrush and spray it like this and you will get a starry night sky but wait you won't be able to see the stars until we do the background so please be patient until the entire background is done hey guys are you wondering why am i ruining my picture and painting over all the details that i had just drawn but let's not forget that we are doing a reverse glass painting and this is just the reverse side of the glass and something magical is waiting for you all on the other side of the glass and you'll have to wait till the end of this video to see the real magic that is happening on the other side so don't worry and mark my words you are going to get a superb outcome from this We are finally doing the sky now and do you remember we did some beautiful stars on the night sky. So basically we are painting on the stars now which are not really visible now but once we flip the paper we will be able to see the stars twinkling. <laughs> now here comes the moment when you will see me doing something that apparently looks like ruining the entire painting. <laughs> Crazy right? Wait for some more time please, please give me the time to varnish my painting and again we'll be varnishing on the back side of the painting. This is going to protect the paint from dust and will prevent it from peeling off. You can use any type of varnish, it can be a gloss one or maybe a matte one, it just doesn't matter because you know you are just doing it to protect the paint and uh, the gloss won't be visible from the reverse side and once the varnish dries it is time for the final reveal. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you liked today's video and don't forget to give the thumbs up to show all your love and support and if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe. So this was all for today and until we meet again, keep painting and keep enjoying your art journey. Thanks for watching. Bye.